Welcome to episode six of the B-League on location in Canberra. And uh, we want to say a big thank you because this episode has been made possible, sponsored by and powered by Kyrgyzstani Internet. Thank you so much, guys. Now, Jules, I just want to check in. Everything's working okay at your end? Absolutely no delay, Sam. You're coming in loud and clear. What fantastic Kyrgyzstania technology we have here. I'm um, in my Socceroos onesie. I'm at home. I'm ready to be lead. Canberra's looking fantastic, as active and vibrant as always. Let's kick it off. Yeah. Let's get underway with our Chief Football Analyst, Ned Zelic. And Ned, I believe you have some new technology of your own this week. Hello. Yeah, thanks guys. For me, definitely, I, I wanted to take you through my, my favourite goal of the week. It had to be Bessard Barish's fantastic goal against Perth Glory in the FFA Cup. Yeah, it starts off with Cavalieri here in the middle of the park, but uh, if we just have a look at Perth's positioning for this goal, it's, it's absolutely outrageous. I mean, the space that they're showing, I mean, there's, there's acres in there, I mean, you can go boom and, and, and put a, a Boeing 747 through that gap. And Bessard Barisha, if you just now will run the goal, makes a fantastic run. And yes, the pass is there and boom, what a goal. Absolutely fantastic. Yes, I don't know about you guys, but, but that had to be my favourite moment uh, of, of the weekend. So back to you. Thank you, Ned. A great moment indeed. But my memorable moment was actually when Melbourne Victory held the trophy aloft. And so good to see in the thick of it, our two-time Ballon d'Or winner, Michael Turnbull, getting the credit, getting the accolades that he absolutely deserves. Now, Jules, we had a bit of an issue before, so I'm going to ask you to start talking now. What's next on the show, Jules? In the meantime, I want to talk to you guys about something that we had in episode two. We showed you this old clip of uh, from the Mariners, Roy O'Donovan. Couldn't hear a word he was saying. So we went to the Central Coast to try and rectify this, to give him another chance to be interviewed and to be heard. What happened to Luck of the Irish? This poor guy can't catch a break. So finally, on the weekend, it's in the middle of a game, he's got something to say. Surely this is his moment, Roy O'Donovan's moment, to be heard, and nothing can interrupt him. Roy, I promise we had nothing to do with that train, I swear. And now, Sam, it's time for the Sir Robert Cornthwaite Medal, which we give out for online excellence. And this week, it's going to Johnny Liu. Now, last week in the ad, we had an ad for the Belize Premier League, and Johnny actually sent us in the real table. As you can see, here is a table right now. We've got the bandits ahead of the police, ahead of the assassins, ahead of the defence force. So I guess the question is, are there any teams in Belize not named after groups of men carrying guns? That's one for you to ponder. Sure is, Jules, and uh, well done, Johnny. Here's your personalised message from the man himself. Smile, you're top of the pile. Now show us those pearly whites. Now, Jules, if I can ask you to say good night, now, go for it. In the meantime, uh, well done to White City Woodville, Belgrade, in Adelaide, who have had a crack at the B-League's 30-second challenge. Check it out. My name is Dan Deutsch, I'm from White City, Woodville, and we are doing the B-League's 30-second Outstanding work, White City Woodville. I just want to point out that was shot on a boat, so that bright stuff at the end was just for safety reasons. So uh, they're always safety first at White City Woodville. Thank you very much, guys. We appreciate it. Any club in Australia is welcome to have a crack. Send it through at the B League. Maybe a junior team, a W League team. Everyone is welcome. Please send them through. That is it for this week's special edition of the B League. As we always say, good night, B Leaguers, and...
Good night, Marquee Assistant Referee, Matthew Cheeseman. This is the outro song for...